RGB pads and how they integrate with Virtual DJ8. Stick around, we're gonna have a look at that in today's episode. Welcome back and thank you for joining us on Virtual DJ Tips. Today we're going to look at RGB pads and how they work inside Virtual DJ 8. Now RGB, meaning red, green, blue, or the colored pads that you'd see on certain controllers are becoming more and more popular and are starting to become the norm in controllers. Companies like Gemini and Pioneer have both released a lot of different controllers with these multicolor pads. And in the sampler of Virtual DJ 8, you can actually change these colors to your liking. So let's dive into the software and have a look on how this actually works. All right, so we already have our software up and running. And what I've done is I've plugged in a Novation Launchpad S. And now we're gonna open up the sampler and you'll see it's in automatic view. So we'll open up our side view and you'll see that the sampler has 64 pads. And I'm gonna show you why here in a second. The Launchpad S is a 64 pad controller. So if we go to our sampler options and we go to pad layout, you'll see that it's set to automatic. So automatic meaning the sample pads or the number of sample pads that are on your device will reflect the number of sample pads in the sampler in the software. So to make this easier, I'm just gonna go with a uh, four columns so that you have the standard sampler view, the just the 16 by 16 pad view. And as you can see, they're red, blue, and yellow by default. Now, if you look at the launch pad, it's got red, green, and orange. So that is because those are the colors available on that device. It doesn't have a blue or a yellow, it has a, an amber or an orange color and a green instead. But it's easy to change. You can click Command and go into your sample editor and you can see color here. Now, if we wanted to change that to say red, we click on the color, we'll go to red. Okay, we like that. Get out of our color mode click save, and as soon as we click save, that bank should all turn red because that color is available on the device. And as you see, it turned red. So we can do that with any group. Go into our sample editor, and this is in a group. So we can change this one to say, well, we don't have any green on the controller. So if we open it up, and we change it to green. Once again, close it, hit save. Those pads automatically become green because they're grouped together. So you can do this with any RGB pad device. So things that would have blue or yellow or red or any other of these colors, you could change the colors and better organize your samples. We'll do it again with the first bank. Control click. Sample editor, go into our sampler. Let's say we'll select something like yellow. I don't know if this will turn out on the controller, but we'll try and we'll say yellow, close, save it. And there you go, the pads actually go that amber or orange color. So it's trying to find the color that's uh, best available for that device. So obviously if you did something like blue, it would turn green because this device doesn't have blue buttons. So that's something you can do. And the great thing about this is that these are all grouped. So if you went into your sample editor and for some reason you decided to take the kick out of the group or give it a new group and we'll say this group is just, we'll just call it samples because we don't have one currently. We'll just call it samples. And we'll say this is gonna be green As soon as we save it, we've just removed that from the group and we've turned that sample green. 
So to put it back into the group is pretty easy. Just again, command click, assign to group, and just back to beats, and then it turns back to that yellow color again. So pretty straightforward. Just a cool little feature that you can fool around with if you have something with RGB pads. As I mentioned earlier, Pioneer, Gemini, uh, Reloop has some controllers now that are of RGB pads. Um, the Newmark NS7 II has RGB pads. I think you're going to start finding this is a normal practice and most manufacturers are going to go with RGB pads. So that'll give you a greater understanding of how RGB pads work in Virtual DJ8 and how to customize them to your needs. Now we did use the Novation Launchpad S, which isn't a true RGB controller, but it does have multicolor pads, which made it easy for us to demonstrate the functionality of it. So that gives you some more customization, organizational tools, and a great way to group your samples. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, give it a like, a thumbs up, share it with the friends that need this information, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.